Good thing I decided to grab as many items as possible. So free. I'm no longer bound by the office. The whole wide world is my office now. Susanna, the office worker. Sent out Walk Trio. I sent out Rubber Room. Let's see how this goes. It's alright. How much does Hepa do? 70. I should probably just do Poison Jab. Triple Dive. Interesting. Two. Three. It's also on land, which makes this really weird. It's swimming in the ground. And it's not a ground type. Pretty sure. Group hit. Very nice. There's also a Gimme Ghoul in that rock. So how about that then? I think it's time I clock out for the day. Probably a good plan. Let me grab that. I'm probably going to head back to shore as well. Not going to immediately go back to the academy. Just quite, just, just, yes, just yet. I'm probably going to regret that because every time I try to take a little bit of time before going back, I take longer. <laughs> I mean, I've been planning to go back to the academy for ages. I still haven't done it yet because I'm trying to explore the rest of the world and it's, that's taking a lot of time just by itself. probably going to continue to take lots of time. It's fine. Oh hey, another mistake. That's good. I haven't found the the gate it's locking up, but that's okay. I thought there'd be more over here, but no, there's more out to sea than there is on the land. It's just like real life. Just like, just like real life, you know. What's that? That haunter looked really cool with just its eyes visible. Very cool. We'll heal. If I can find a checkpoint or something that I can warp to, that'll be good. I'm actually going to look for it. Revive. I've, I've, there's a lot of uh, good items you can find by just picking the items up off the ground. I wouldn't expect this many good items. I'm not complaining. Because now I have way too many good items. Maybe I'll never use them all. Who can tell? Anyway. Let me grab that, please. Psychic Fangs. Also, there's a cave. And there are Pokemon that I don't have yet. Also got some Terra Shards just there. Which is cool. Bramble, Bramble Ghast. Um, I think it's Grass Ghost. I don't know what's effective against that, but possibly not steel. But I guess I'll find out. It wasn't super effective, but it was and good enough. Oh, so I was supposed to catch that. Ah! <laughs> I just realized I was supposed to catch that. It's fine. I'll probably find more. Blast Burn TM. Frenzy Plant TM. How many TMs are there? Hydro Cannon TM. How are there so many TMs I haven't picked up before? It's fine. Um, I don't see the Pokemon here. The po Pokemon. Also, I haven't got a Hunch Crow, so let me catch that as well. I think I've seen this a few times and realized I probably need to catch it, but I haven't done it, so... Let's do that now. Quick Ball, go! And hopefully catch, maybe. One, two... Nope. It's not, it's not good enough. Uh, now how am I gonna do how am I gonna do this without destroying it? That's the other question I have, I guess. Uh poison jab. Confused. Use poison jab, okay. And it was too much. This is the problem I have. This is this is the this is a real problem I have. I can't tr catch the Pokemon. It's fine, I think I can just evolve to get those anyway, so. Let me just go continue up the path a bit more. Pretty sure I have one of those ready. River room wore itself out. How did it do that? It's been a while since that's just happened with one of my main Pokemon. 
Like potion. DD. Let's grab the LP from this, and that, then let's go onward. Oh, hello. I also need both of those, I think. No, I don't. I need Ampharos, though. Give, give it to me. Give it, give it to me. It's an ele electric type, I'm pretty sure. Already have Mareep, though. I'm not sure about the middle evolution, though. And I guess I never will. <laughs> it's fine. Also, there's a Chansey there. Do I have a Chansey? Possibly. That might be one of the Pokemon that I thought I had and don't. So. I don't have a Chansey. Let's get a Chansey. Quick Ball. All of the regular Pokemon we're catching now are like level 50 and up. That used to be only like Terror Crosslight's Pokemon that were like this high leveled. Ten chance was damaged by the recoil. Not much though. But maybe it's enough to help my Poke luck. Nope. Soft boiled, of course it's gonna heal itself. I don't know what I can do to not kill it. <laughs> Headbutt. Okay, cool. Flinched and can't move. Let's throw a Great Ball. Nope, Pokemon broke free. Double Edge. Not very effective, also hurts the Chansey a little bit. We throw an Ultra Ball since we're running out of balls. Also, I forgot I have Premier Ball so I could use Probably use them in the terror raid battles. Ultra Ball. Please catch. I don't want to be here for another 23 minutes. That'd be unfortunate. But I might be. <laughs> I might be here for another 23 minutes. That'd be such a shame. I try to go to the the, the academy to, to to talk to my friends, but I'm stuck here just catching Pokemon <laughs> forever. Oh my goodness, it was so close. Mad. It's gonna heal itself or possibly take itself out using double edge. There we go, finally. Oh. Having all these quick balls has not helped me as much as I'd hope. My Poke Luck is not high enough. But there we go. That's there now. Now we can keep moving. Hopefully find a, a save point so we can... Or a, a warp point thing. Well, so that's not where I thought that was. Hang on, is this supposed to be... Here? Am I supposed to go up like this? Or is there another way that I was supposed to go down? I feel like there's another way I was supposed to go down, possibly. But I mean, I can also just climb up here, so... Interesting. I think I have you already, yeah. Pretty sure. Please send out my Pokemon. It actually looks like I was supposed to come down somewhere over this way. just want to know where the game wanted me to be. That's all I want to know. Why is it so hard to get to where the game wanted me to be? Oh wow. Thunder. I mean lightning. That one. Both. It's like down this rocky path that I would not have guessed. It's very rocky here, actually. But there is a path which leads us to this tower, which is good. I'm assuming this is not where, no, exactly where it wanted me to be from. Can I warp here now? Yes, I can. Cool. So where does this actually connect to? Is it just down the down the slope from? There or something? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I have a feeling this is going to lead back down to the other place that we were before. Or actually, no. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know anything. Let me grab this and fight this Gimme Ghoul. Hyper Beam, TM. And a Gimme Ghoul. Sweet. 
spin out. One shot attack. Victory is mine. I'm gonna go talk to people. I'm on the edge of I'm on the edge of the ledge. About to fall off. We're actually a lot higher up the here than I thought we were. Anyway, let's head back to the academy finally. After all this time. It's very hard to tell where you're actually supposed to go in the snow area because it's not not easy to tell what is what is what. And Narendra Academy. It's been a while. It's been a, it's been a long while. This is there's it's been a long time going through this. Oh say it's still raining. I like rain, so this is a good thing. Lovely rain. I need more rain in video games. Well, here we are. I'm gonna turn down my headphones so it's not quite as loud epic music. It's really good. Uh, anyway. Is there anything new here? Probably not, but... Oh, there is. The director's office. Interesting. Let me check that quickly. And then we'll look at some lessons. See if I've actually learned anything. Thus far. Thank you for the visit, Master Jeremy. A good friend of mine has been telling me of your recent exploits. Uh, a good friend? Haha, -ha, I'll leave your- leave their identity to your imagination. Okay. But now, lest I forget, there is another matter I would very much like your opinion on. Do you know what manner of just manner of gentlemen's hairstyles considered cool, as it were, among the youth these days? Giant pompadours. <laughs> oh, pompadours, you say? I suspected as much. Though I don't seem to recall many of the Academy's male students besporting such a style. <laughs> Could it be, then, that the pompadour has already had its day in the sun? Perhaps I ought to consider a change of wig. Er, uh, I mean, uh... Uh, that is to say, uh, never mind. Thank you for your insight, Master Jeremy. It was most enlightening. You feel trusted by Director Clavel. Yeah, that's what it is. He hasn't... Yeah, hmm. It's fine. He, he, he trusts us, but, but not enough, apparently. We trust him, maybe, but not the other way around, possibly. I don't know. I need to get more water. My throat is gonna die. Probably. Anyway. Interested in any classes? I should probably focus on one just to get it done. So, uh, <laughs> languages. That's not a great plan. It's more art class to do. That one's always good. Mr. Hass Mr. Hassel. Okay then. Hello class, it is I, Hasful, yes, yes again. I am pleased to say that everybody did work very well on the midterm exams. As a reward for all your hard work, we have a special guest visiting us today. Now then, Bressy, please come in. Greetings. I am Brassius. I'm an artist, and I focus ex exclusively on grass-type Pokémon for my work. Brassius here mainly creates three-dimensional pieces, such as structures and the like. One of his major works is the installation titled uh, Surrounding Sunflower Flora, found in Artisan. Many of you who challenged the Artisan Gym are no doubt familiar with these sculptures. Yes, I do recognize some faces among your students. I hope you all understand how fortunate you are to be able to attend Hass's class. Old Hass is the man who saved me when I had lost all hope and given up on myself. But he never gave up on me. I do not exaggerate. 
When I say he is my mentor in life, it is precisely thanks to Hass that I was able to estab establish my current art style. Ah, oh dear Bressy. I have nothing against reminiscing about old times, but today I hope you will guide us, guide this class in a way you, only you can. Of course. Let's see. Why don't we discuss that what Hass mentioned, sur uh, surrendering Sunflora. Can anyone here tell me tell what my mood was when I crafted its detached expression? Uh, uh set, angry, angry. <laughs> nope. No, no, no! Completely and utterly wrong. I mean, how am I supposed to know? I don't know. I'm just here to learn art. I, I get kicked out every week for some reason. When I made that sculpture, I had surrendered all hope. I was preparing to give up on- give up everything. I had resolved to give up my life as an artist, if that piece did not receive proper recognition. Hence the name Surrendering Sunflora. That's exactly it, Has the sound effect. I need to turn up the music again because that was a great sound effect moment for that, sorry. When I started out as an artist, I experienced many hardships. I even became deathly ill and fell into a slump. That drove me to d desperation. I began worriedly about, or w worrying only about what would sell. I was concerned only with fame and fortune. But all of my pieces during this time had no depth. They were all shallow trash. It was then that I met Hass. He helped me realize how pretty, pretty, pe 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 petty I was being. It's hard to read. I've already explained this. I'll spare you the detail. <laughs> it's, you know, it's pretty he was being. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> but in the end, I was able to, to leave all that behind. And that is also when I crafted the Sunflora. Remarkable. Even I did not know the full story until now. This kind of thing... It's hard to tell someone, especially when you they are so close to you. Now, I, uh, I doubt... I don't doubt that your adolescence will often find your heads crowded with worries. My advice to you is simple. Be honest with yourself and do whatever your heart desires. So long as you don't cause trouble, that is. That is it all... all that is all from me. I must admit, I am beginning to feel a bit embarrassed. So did... So I bid you farewell, Hass, and farewell to your your pup pupils as well. Oh, Bressy, I can't believe it! Such a wonderful class. Thank. You. Thank you so much. M m m m m m I don't even know how to pronounce that wrong. <laughs> That's my best impression of what he just said, which I assume is tears. It's hard to convey that. I could have just had a sound effect put in from somebody crying or something, I don't know. Doesn't sound very insensitive or anything. Anyway, that's all- nope, there's more art. I will never get to the end of the- <laughs> there's so many that I've- I should have been working on this the whole way through the game. Why am I taking so long to get up, work, work through this? I'm probably going to be working on this for a few episodes, so don't worry about it. Uh, uh, let me try something. I, I, I want to say something simple, but I don't think it's going to be that simple. Math. Let's go math. We've missed miss time. I should actually pause this recording to just go get water. Why, why don't I do that? I don't know. Anyway. Hello everyone! Let's have a fun class today. Tell me, do you enjoy te fortune telling, horoscopes, and the like? I think it feels great to read your horoscope and see what it says. Good luck is coming your way. See, see, see that is it? Yeah, okay. It's fine. So today, I'd like to teach you all math while focusing on the topic of luck. 
Perhaps you have seen the following phrase. Crop up during Pokemon battles before. A critical hit. When a Pokemon's attack lands a critical hit, the damage it deals is increased by half. In other words, it does one and, and a half times as much damage as it normally would. It is truly luck that determines whether your Pokemon lands a critical hit, or has one landed on it. This can cause gr a great upset in battle. Does anyone know what percent chance a Pokemon has of landing a critical hit? Uh... 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 No... Uh... One percent? It does happen a little bit more often than that, yes, you're right. But I don't- I don't know how I'm supposed to be- I just- I don't, I don't know. Why- this you're, you're supposed to be teaching me. I mean, this is helpful questions, but also I don't know. Oh my, critical hits land a little more often than that, Jeremy. The chance of landing a critical hit... Is four percent, okay. It's said to be 1 in 24, which figures to be roughly 4.17%. That was not one of the- I mean 4%, but it wasn't specifically 4.17%. The odds are more favorable for certain moves, though. Why moves such as Stone Edge and Shadow Claw have about a 12% chance. Interesting. You can also use a move called Focus Energy or an item known, known as Dire Hit. Both raise the critical hit ratio by two stages. That's a 50% chance to land a critical hit. It feels great to land a critical hit, but perhaps not so great to be struck by one. There is a surprising amount of mathematical probability hidden in Pokemon battles, you know. If you're able to do the calculations, that'll swing luck in your favor. It may open the door for more strategic choices for you during battle. Oh my, is that the bell? I suppose that's all for now. What a shame. Next class will be a fun midterm exam. I hope you'll all be looking forward to it. Oh boy, <laughs> an exam. I've never had to do a proper exam, so I've <laughs> this is this is this is this is what I get. Math midterm. Here we go. Alright everyone, it's time for, to begin our midterm exam. I'm sure the fun experiences you all had in my class will serve you well as your, your answer. How much damage does Water Gun do when it hits a fire type Pokemon? Double damage. How much damage does Razor Leaf do when it hits a fire type Pokemon? Half damage. If you spent 2,000 Poke Dollars on, on as many as 200 Pokeball Pokeballs as possible. How many do you get? Uh, 11. What percent chance does a Pokemon usually have to land a critical hit? About 4%. How much damage does it deal when it uh, lands a critical hit? One and a half, is t half times as much. Alright, everyone, time is up. Put your hands up on your laps now. You're all concentrating so hard, I can't wait to see how you did. Do go and ask for your scores at the front desk, and then take a nice break. Oh, I want to take a break. I really, really need to do something about my throat right now. It's fine. This seems to happen every time I'm working on doing the classes. Feels great to get a test out of the way, doesn't it? Let's take a look at your results. I'm glad it doesn't take long either. You must get three questions correct to pass the midterm exams, and the, and the four questions correct to pass the final exams. See, so you did, did. Five out of five questions answered correctly. That's a passing score. Congratulations. Miss Time asked, asked to give out this reward to any students who pass the exam. Five XP candies S. Keep doing your best. I'll try. Also, I think there are some new other stuff because of course there are. <laughs> of course there's more stuff. There's always more stuff. Oh my, if it isn't Jeremy. Please forgive me if this is an odd question. 
Were you perhaps watching me from afar just now? No. <laughs> I saw you were there, and that's why I thought that I might have to do some more talking, but that that's just about it. I just got here. <laughs> Yes, I suppose you wouldn't have been doing something like that. I'm sorry. Why is this in a Pokemon game? <laughs> you see... Oh, how should I put this? Recently there have been times when I feel as if I'm being watched. Not by a Pokemon, mind you, but by a person. I thought it might be a, a ghost, so I tried asking my sister for help. She said it was... It's... Said it most likely isn't one. She's good with ghost-type Pokemon, you know. Perhaps one of my students, students, ugh, sorry, start again. Perhaps one of my students is quietly watching me, waiting for a chance to ask me a question. Uh, that might be it. I don't know. Why are you asking me? Why is this a Pokemon game? Why is this a thing at all? I don't know. These are the questions I'm left with asking, and these are more important questions than you real being asked. Goodness, if that was wasn't an intense gaze I felt. If you know someone with a short sort that with a sort of fire in their eyes, come tell me, won't you? If they are too shy to come ask me themselves, then I'll go out, go to them. We became even closer with Miss Time. Do we have to talk with her more? Nope. Just need to find Mr. Hassel. Somewhere. Could be anywhere. There's a lot of area. I remember when I was talking to all the NPCs in the towns. That was a crazy time. I'm glad I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> oh, why hello there, young Jeremy. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought and didn't notice your, your approach. I feel I must again apologize for what transpired in the schoolyard. Ah, uh, it didn't bother me. It's all good. Yeah, actually it was kind of intriguing. Huh, that is very magnanimous of you. That woman who showed up is a dragon tamer, and a relative of, uh, and a relative of mine, I might add. You see, I come from a very long line of trainers who specialize in dragon-type Pokémon. There was a child in our family who was expected to stand at its head and lead it to greatness. But the young lad, rebellious little, little fellow that he was, ran away from home one day, and he made quite the show of it too, swearing he'd make a living with music. A lot happened since then, and now he's the art teacher of the. Uh, now he's the art teacher, and at least four member before you. After I so rudely took my leave during our last conversation, my dear relative encouraged me to give up teaching and return home at last. I've been told the current leader of my family, that is to say, my father, is in poor health. Oh, but I do apologize. Perhaps I am not cut out for teaching after all. Also, teacher grumbles on and on at his own student. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, you should probably take a break to go see your dad, but it's fine. You're a great teacher. It's probably the best option I have at this point. Ah, my dear Jeremy, you have no idea how much your words mean to me. Thank you. Thank you so very much. You feel trusted by Mr. Hassel. That was cool. But anyway, my throat is dying. I think I've talked to everyone that's available. Yep. There are more classes to do, but I'm going to do that next time, and I'm going to drink water in between. So that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.